Alright, and welcome back to the Yorvik campaign. I am the Walking Taco. Thank you for joining me. We are currently at war with all this. Yeah, I'm not very happy about that. But oh well, we we are going to take over Oxford, which I'm... That, that makes me happy because I really want to get a lot of a strong foothold in all of England. And so hopefully we will be able to continue to have this uh, this very good lead here but um, we have a ooh I forgot I'm taking I'm gonna after this part of the war I'm actually gonna call up my troops and I'm gonna make this go a little bit faster because I don't want to wait anymore so you guys need to go there but you go this way and you guys go there to there to there and then hopefully that gets everyone there safely yeah that should all right we're going to continue to war with oxford right now we only have five percent war score um oh and we just went really long wrong way oh well I don't know why Quiss is so angry at us. I didn't do anything except for try to take their vassal stuff. Which I don't understand why they would be mad at that. It's clearly not anything against them. Uh, but we're about to take the silver. Uh, can you just take the silver please? Allow the duel. Hopefully my grandson does not die, because I believe the second line is not being taught by me. No, he's not, and he is actually a really bad person. Oh well. Can't win them all, I guess. The third sweetest subjugation of Sweden has ended. King Bjorn of Svithjad has won. Yay, I feel like I did nothing for that. In fact, I didn't do anything for that. Um, so, now we're going to start our siege of Buckingham. I didn't know that's where Buckingham was. I'm not actually, I'm not from England, so I mean, I guess I don't know geography there. But I thought that would be further away from, uh, London. I'm not going to arrange anything for you. I'm not, I'm sorry. But we are currently occupying Middlesex. I mean, uh, Oxford. After this siege, we're actually going to go and stop him because he is he is occupying our stuff, which I'm not too keen on. But, yeah. I didn't know Oxford. Oh, sorry. Alright, so can we just hurry this up, guys, please? Thank you. Alright, so finish up the siege here. Alright, and then I believe if we just scare him away, and we just go like that, we win. I have Oxford. Oxfordshire. Alright. Boom, boom, and boom. Alright. So, just gotta find someone to rule it. Yeah, you look good. There you go, guy. Have Oxford. Alright, so let me see how much of England we control now. We control 45%. Not quite there yet. We're getting close though, we're getting really close. So, I forgot to set my timer. Excuse me for one second. Gotta find the timer button. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now let's see. I'm going to go and take over, go to Luscious here, blah, 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 blah. I'm not very good with the names, and I know that people do not like it when you don't know the names, but at this point, I don't care. Sorry about the stuff in the background. My mom just got home. She was taking my grandma somewhere. So, you know, whatever. So, now we're taking over this stuff. 
Let's just stir, launch an unsexful raid. I don't really care. They're going to die. Nonetheless. So I'm afraid that I'm going to have to get rid of one of these holdings, which I'm okay with because I don't really want them to begin with. Because I want the stuff in my dessert duchy. Because my dessert, my dessert duchy is this three, these three things, not these three. And I'd rather give it away these, this, these two away than have to give away these two. Sorry about that. My friend just texted me. All right, and we're gonna finish up this siege hopefully pretty soon and we win all right so that's it for that war yay we control let's just stir and I'm going to give away Northumberland no actually I'm gonna give away my Westmoreland to that guy I'm gonna give you all those. Boom. That guy likes me. Yay. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can go to war with anyone now. First I had to get rid of all my troops. I know at the beginning I've done a lot of warring, but I feel like I needed to just so I could stay on track with all the rest of the world. And I can go to war again. Sweet. I'm going to take Warwick, so that way I have a clean cut down the middle of this place. Alright, so raise up my troops again. And we're all going to meet in Warwick. That's right everyone, meet in Warwick. You are no longer the person in charge of him. Oh, but he's a North Catholic, that's dumb. I'm going to have to get him educated by someone that is not a Catholic, which is going to be kind of hard to find someone. There you go. You can go be trained by that lady. Sorry, my friend keeps on texting me. I don't know why. I never get texts unless I'm actually recording. So, yeah. Alright, who do I want to make me make them like me more? I want you to like me. I don't want Lincoln to like me because I'm going to take over their stuff anyways. Yeah, that's going to be my next plot, is to revoke Lincoln. She became a thrifty clerk. It's cool for her. Queen of Whis doesn't like me at all. I don't blame her. I'm not a very nice guy in this game. So the King of Norway wants to marry my granddaughter to his son. Yeah, you can marry her. I don't really care. More allies, the better, I think. Especially when we go to war with the Carlings. I think the more people we have on our side, the better. Alright, and after we're done with this war, we may have enough to actually form the kingdom title, which is fantastic. Because I've been looking forward to becoming the King of England since I started this play series. This Let's Play. So, we're at 32% to 26%. Okay, so... I have a lot of notifications. I really want to change my capital because I'm not happy with my capital. Well, actually, my capital is the best for what I got. Thorgil has returned from the from Greece, the Virgin Guard, but he refuses to speak of his experiences there. You know, he took part in several battles and killed many foes. But instead of revealing in reveling in the glory of his accomplishments, Thorgil is played by nightmares and jumps at sudden sounds. Strange. So he is <laughs> stressed. Depressed and he gains the freaking guard trait. Hmm. Well, I mean, that's what you get for going there, my friend. 
that's what you get. He's probably going to die, just being honest, because press means that you can kill yourself at any time, and he's probably going to kill himself at any time. Because that's usually what depressed people do in this game. Alright, so we have all of Warwick. Now let's go and talk to you. So that's Osiri. She has called Osiri in. You want to find someone nice? I think you deserve it for being a depressed man. Let's see if we can find. Oh, Princess of Norway. Culture and Gion. Um. How many are you to her? Yes, you are now going to be married, my son. Alright, so my son is now married, which is cool, because he really wanted to be. Uh, and she has surrendered, which is awesome. Now we control more of England, in our ever-present conquest of England. Hopefully we have enough to actually form the, the Kingdom of England. Because I would really like that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. And see how much of England we can Oh, so close! So, so close. I can almost taste it. Okay. When can we declare war on you, my friend? Well, first let me get all my troops back. And actually, let me go to Lincoln. So I can actually start my plot. I know. It's not very nice to demand land from people, but I need to. And war it is. You foolish man. So, after this, I'm thinking that we're going to try to go to war. I don't know. All three of these people we can't really go to war with. He only controls the Duchy of Mercia. She controls the Duchy of Huis, and he controls probably only the Duchy of Wessex. Oh well. I've been causing a lot of trouble in England as my Norse character. Ooh, the King of Scotland's trying to convert me. Too bad. So sad. I feel like. The Dutch, the Duchy of Jorvik will soon become the Kingdom of England. I have a feeling. Maybe not in my guy's lifetime, but definitely in his son's lifetime. You want to kill Hisling Hopperstedon. <gasps> Excuse me. Why? Why do you want to kill my son? Just stop it. Like, seriously? Alright, and then I'm gonna get rid of Dunholm next. And then I'll have my complete duchy, and that's gonna be great. Alright, I'm gonna make you stop plotting, because that's not very nice to kill people. That's my other son. My grandson became a thrifty clerk. That's cool. Good job. Yes, I was right. You should stop scheming. It's not very nice. You like me more. That's cool. I like people that like me more. Alright, fabricate clay. And no, uh, I'm just gonna make him make people like me more. Okay. He needs to like me more. Uh, you could like me more, still. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna try to go to war with something in here. Because I'm, I'm 
Ah, oh, and King King half half done the white shirt died after at the age 67 died of severe stress. Long live King Siegfried. So I am now King Siegfried of Jorvik. I knew it wouldn't happen in my lifetime. I know it's gonna happen soon, so I'm just gonna put that ambition on. And I need to get a chancellor. Uh, you're not very good, but you're just gonna have to do. Seer, you can be my seer, and you can proselytize in somewhere. I should probably make you proselytize there. And three children lack a guardian. My son, half of them. I'll teach you. I'm a very wise man. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Rebuild the county. Uh, no, I might as well not do that anymore. But I can go to war for, against a lot of places. Alright, so my guy died, which I, I'm sorry about. I know it's kind of sad, but I did call my allies into the war. And so now we're going to hopefully not die. <laughs> I think I bit off a little bit more than I can chew. Oh well. I don't really have too much, too many troops, which isn't good. But as you can tell, that Claymore actually died off when my guy died. And oh my gosh, he's already an old man. I'm not going to have a long life with this guy, apparently. Oh well. But we're going to take over all this stuff. Um, no, stop going to war with me. Oh my gosh. Who's, who's rebelling? I guess nobody is? Okay. Alright, so, you're my wife, right? Oh, no, you're just my courtier. Of course you're going to be my spy master. Where am I at? Done home. Okay. So, I'm going to collect taxes in my capital. Wait. What? I'm not the... What? That's dumb. Hold on a second.